Hello everyone, I'm uh, going to show you how to draw a cartouche. I'm uh, actually going to show you how to draw a couple. So come on over and we'll get started with that. My document camera, got my piece of paper here. Uh, so we're going to draw a couple. I'm going to show you how to draw like a really simple one that's kind of visually interesting all the way up to kind of slightly more involved. So cartouche, if you don't know, let's start by just drawing a box. Cartouche is a title or a place where you kind of put your title uh, on a map. So this would be a super simple one. I would discourage any of my students from creating a cartouche that looks like this. However, if I start to draw some more parallel lines around it, it starts to become a little more visually interesting. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to space this one just a little bit further apart. Notice I'm not using a ruler. I'm not stressing about how these lines are not perfectly straight. Uh, I might add now just a couple of simple details. So if I draw these marks in the corner, now it starts to look like a picture frame perhaps. Uh, and I could even go back and fill in some tiny details. So just some tiny marks it's really, uh, it's not super difficult to take something that is very simple and make it more visually interesting. So you can see now, just adding those marks, if I was to do that all the way around, that would become cooler. I could continue to add more parallel lines around this and it's going to become more complicated uh, in a way that is, like I said, visually interesting. Uh, so something to consider. Simple cartouche. Let's even write the word in there. There we go. That's a good one. All right, let's draw another one. Uh, so this one I'm going to make, uh, again, This one, I'm going to keep this one simple. We're going to make this look kind of like a banner. And like I said, we're going to keep it real simple. So I'm going to draw a curve that goes down and up and back up there so almost like a wave I'm gonna now make a line down here that is parallel with that line that I just drew so here's a very simple if I want to make it a little more involved I'm gonna create uh, two diagonal lines that meet kind of here in the center if I wanted to add some simple details to this maybe I'll put some circles on here and Make these like tassels, perhaps. One simple way of making it a little more visually interesting. Uh, also, again, if you follow that rule from the first one that we did of creating lines that are just kind of continuing to band around, that starts to make it also a little more visually interesting. So here we go. That's number two. Simple, but a nice cartouche. All right, let's do another one. Uh, we'll stop after this one. So I'm going to start by drawing those parallel lines. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So I'm drawing uh, a curve, just a simple curve, and I'm going to make a parallel line for that curve. And now I'm going to uh, connect the ends of those lines. And what I want to do is I want to make this look like it's a banner that's it's more complicated than this one. So it's going to be a banner. It's going to look like it's flapping in the wind. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down just a little bit. I'm going to highlight the area just so you can see this. Uh, so I'm moving down about that far. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that better. So I'm using that blue. Uh, maybe I'll use this pink Sharpie so it stands out a little bit better moving down about that far and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line that angles out and away so down and then up curve there and what I want to do now is in my uh, imagination is I want to think about how far down this space is and I want to just kind of again I don't want to actually make this mark on my paper but I'm gonna put it here so you can kind of see it I want to transfer 
this banner down that far. And then here's the tricky thing. So this part of the banner curves down and back and then out again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine or I'm going to make a curve that comes down and back. So it curves. And this is why this little guide is helpful. So it curves down and back. And now I'm going to follow this line that I made to start with. So what's happened is this banner has wrapped behind this first part, and this is the behind part. And then the only thing that we need to do here to finish it is to draw a vertical line. And so this represents the part that is behind. And then I like to uh, use those same diagonal lines again. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to start by trying to draw this curve, but on the other side. So I'm going to remember that I go down and then up, kind of curve it away. I'm going to draw your attention back to this uh, pink, this distance here. So I want to have that, and then I want to try to uh, recreate that distance down here. So just in my mind, I'm not actually making that mark. And now again, this curve goes the opposite, so it's going to come down and back. And just like I used the guide over here, I'm going to do the same thing here. So it curves down and back. And now, once I reach that point, I want to try to make a parallel line to this curve that was up above. So I've done that. I'm going to complete this guy. And then I would, again, just I want to draw that vertical line here and that shows this area that's behind. If I want to add some shading to this, this is an uh, this place right here is a place where shading is very important because this should be darker space. So just those lines are going to start to make it look like it's a little more three-dimensional. Uh, and you can also add some shading in here that would be important too. But this is a cool, slightly more involved cartouche. If you're going to draw words on this, you want to think about how those words bend. So I would recommend creating kind of some guidelines for yourself because your C should kind of sit over here. Uh, and then, you know, whatever letter might be in the middle, maybe it's your O. It should be a little bit taller up here. Those guidelines will help to make your words look like they're floating on the surface of this cartouche. All right. Thanks for watching.